you're going on a trip, and you're on an airplane, the airplane lands, and then all of a sudden, you don't know where you are, you don't know what city or state or country you're in, you don't have your suitcase, and you're forced to get off the plane. And that exact simulation uh, is one way to put yourself in the situation of a person with Alzheimer's disease. It's a disease that's relentless, and it can be traumatic for the whole family. The whole situation has changed where I had someone who was my partner to someone who is like my child now. You know, Jason is here, but he's not here. And we got the diagnosis in October of 1972. I'll never forget the year. We noticed that he started to wander off by himself. And he was getting forgetful. We think of Alzheimer's as uh, just a memory issue. It's a lot more than a memory issue. It's a personality change. See, yes. these are all your clothes, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Do they look like your clothes? Sure. Okay, they're your clothes. We've been living here. Yeah. And look, look at all the pictures of you and I. What? When he's able to express himself as to how his feelings are, he will say he feels like he's in darkness. And if we play music, music will bring him out of that darkness. It makes me relieved to have music on while we're doing our many activities because she'll be more relaxed. And a more relaxed Hilda is a happier Hilda. So the music always leads to a good time. Music puts him in another place in his mind. For him, it's food. Food for his soul, food for his brain, food for his heart. When she starts singing the old songs, it brings back the memories, good and bad. It makes me feel great. At least I know that she's got something still in there that's still clicking. When I see him singing and having a great time, it brings me back to him. Again? Yeah.